Freak Sugar! What's up, people? It is Steven here for Freak Sugar's Freak Show. To my immediate right, a wonderful gentleman, and I hope I pronounced his name correctly. I forgot to ask before we started. Christy Caracas. That's good. I nailed it. Uh, one of the folks behind Super Jail. You know his voice. You know his work. And congratulations. We're going to have Super Jail Season 4. Are all the episodes finished? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're there. Um, I think uh, the f there's six episodes a season, and I think we're... Uh, we're finishing up this, the very last one now, and uh, I think we have the audio mix for the fifth one Friday. When you created the idea for the show, if you write the story first, do you know how all the visuals are going to go together? Usually, we like we'll have a rough idea, we'll kick it around. Like it's me and my partner Steve Warbrick, and then we have uh, two other writers we work with usually, and um, we'll kick around like an outline, and we'll write a script, and then, um, but when we storyboard it, we stay really loose. Like we we try to throw in like as many weird kind of you know random jokes and uh kind of like visual stuff you know we try to keep to the main story but we're we're very open and kind of free to to kind of come and go and um and sometimes things change like I, like this season a lot of the endings aren't the ending that was in the script because i mean super is not like a you know it's not like a witty banter type show like venture brothers or something or aqua team even it's you know again it's very visual it's kind of straightforward so sometimes the endings feel good in the script and then we'll you know be thumbing it out we're like this is cool but it's kind of boring and like let's just do something crazy and and plus i think the way the the, the kind of the rules of the world are like anything can happen i mean we you know we can kill someone in the next scene they're alive kind of like looney tunes or something mm -hmm. so a lot of the endings will just be like let's just what destroy. looney tunes did you watch the people got murdered like uh, you know, like the coyote and the roadrunner, and I mean, he'd always be like, you know, swinging in and then blowing up, and he'd be dead in the next scene. He's just trying again. It's funny when you look back at. I was watching some old Tom and Jerry. Uh, I'm a huge fan, and I just never thought about. Oh wait a minute! So he's pretending to drop the safe on Jerry, and Jerry is now blindfolded, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, you can't do any of that anymore. It seems yeah. like I think we were on the fifth script writing, and all of a sudden we got a note that we're like, "Hey, there's no, there's no smoking anymore in Adult Swim. Like, no characters can smoke." And we're like, "Real what? They're like, it's they're in a jail. They can like eviscerate each other, and cut their heads off, and everything. And we can't have them smoking, I guess, because it's a, I guess you just can't anymore. So we, uh, it's funny the the last step we had one more episode to write, and we were, but it, we already had written the finale. So we're like, can we do like this is jail? Like this is stupid if they don't smoke. So can we write an episode why they can't smoke anymore? So there's this whole, the second episode is going to be this crazy smoking episode. And we're like, can we just show smoking in this one episode? And then we'll never show it again. We <laughs> they won't even ask. And they were like, yeah, sure. But it's like, it's a lot. Yeah. The warden basically bans smoking, but there's like a ton of smoking. So it's. And then there's drugs and other things going on. Yeah. Mostly cigarettes in this one. But yeah. See, that's the thing. I think we can still do drugs and. But smoking's bad. Death and all that. Yeah. How'd you get hooked up with David Wayne? When we were originally doing the show, the warden was kind of one of the hardest characters to kind of nail for us. Mm -hmm. And we had cast all the voices, but the warden, we're like, man, what, what should this guy sound like? You know, because he's obviously a Willy Wonka type guy, but we were, I mean, we already even drew him like Willy Wonka, but we were like, it just seemed like such a ripoff. And we were kind of unsure about how crazy or not crazy. But um, we did the, we do the, we make the show at Titmouse. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a studio and, you know, they have an office in LA and New York. But the first season we did at a studio called Augenblick Studios. Um, they did that um, show Ugly Americans right. and did a bunch of really good stuff but uh, they had just done animation for David Wayne's movie The Ten. Oh yeah yeah so they had just worked with him and, and uh, someone at the studio was like was like hey we should just ask let's ask David if he'll do it he's you know cause like you know we knew like the state stuff like that yeah. like, we were always a big fan I was like I wouldn't I think at the time we were just thinking we were young and we were just like I don't know I don't know now I think we I think we were really naive. I remember being like, "Oh, we can ask like famous people to do these voices because a lot of our voices aren't a lot of it's us or mm -hmm. friends. It's not a lot of I mean, he's our big celebrity voice. Cuz you do a couple, you do Alice and Jackknife mm -hmm. among others. And did was that did that happen out of necessity or did you want to do voices? Um kind of necessity, but I was I'm glad I do them now, but what's funny is um uh we had another voice for Alice and it was this friend of mine Melissa Brown and she was she was trying to sound like you know like like a tough woman and then when we were working out we were kind of like but this is kind of like a dude trying to be a woman we should it should be a a dude's voice mm -hmm. so I just started you know kind of talking like she did and we we're like oh that's fun it just worked funnier sometimes you hear the voice that sounds crappy but then you put it to the picture and you're like oh my god that sounds really awesome and Jackknife you know uh 
the short animation I'd done before this never really had dialogue or talking. And um, originally when we pitched it, I was like, can we do this? Can we do the show like with no dialogue? And they were like, no, you, that's that's ridiculous. Like, we can't. <laughs> and we were like, well, can we have like one part? I don't know, because I like cartoon, like Tom and Jerry, like yeah, they no. don't need to talk. They just no. do their thing and you can mm -hmm. express it visually. And it's it's fun. But uh, we were like, okay, well, we'll do these when we were coming up with the whole jackknife thing. We'll, we'll have this little sequence in the beginning, almost like a short within the world where every every week we see this kind of nonverbal thing. So we're like, he won't talk. He's kind of like, blah, 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 you know, kind of like that. He was inspired, though. Do you remember this old cartoon? I think it was, I want to say it was Italian or, and it was like a, a, a line and it was a guy. Yes. And he was like at a line and he would be like, yes. blah, 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 blah. he kind of yeah, chattered. They showed it on um, Amazing Space Coaster. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I was thinking of. And I was like, that guy, but like a scumbag. <laughs> But he would get mad sometimes, yeah. but I remember as a kid just laughing so hard at that. And I think it was called like La Linea or something. Or like I don't know if they ever like, named it on the show. I've looked it up on YouTube before, and it's like, yeah, like he there's a there's a horizon line, but he never really breaks the line. And but then sometimes he would there's fall. gags. Yeah, he'll, yeah, the guy will erase the line and he'll fall. But but that guy was totally when we were doing Jackknife. I was thinking of that. Super Jail straight up. Uh, Super Jail rips off everything. Good, good. <laughs> well, you so, you know. The best things do. <laughs> yeah. What's gonna happen with the warden this season? We got into a real groove third season. Like, first season was always my favorite. And then second season, we started, you know, they want us to work on the character and writing and all that a little more. And it kind of, second season is not my favorite season, to be completely honest. It kind of, I feel like it's we learned. Show, dude. You can say whatever you want. I feel like we learned a bunch of stuff that we didn't know how to do right. But we kind of, in in focusing on that stuff so much, we kind of like forgot about all the stuff. We didn't forget it. Just there wasn't time to cram all the stuff that makes the show what it is. And then I feel like third, we kind of figured out by the end of third season, like melding all that stuff together. And now fourth season, I feel like was like, is the strong, like fourth season, I mean, is really, I mean, I, it sounds like bullshit every season. This is the best one, watch it. But <laughs> it is fucking awesome. Like it's really insane because um, the stories are all really funny. I feel like a, lo a lot of my favorite episodes are when it's, you know, the staff is a big part, but so do the in the main inmates, like, you know, like the gays and Ash and Nikki and all those guys. And a lot of these episodes just utilize all the characters and have good, um, you know, funny, weird stories, but also like really crazy. You know, the fights are back again. We've gotten really stream of conscious. Like we tried to like hardly ever cut this season. So some of the episodes just seem really, they just seem so stream of conscious and crazy. Like, like the pilot felt really good mm -hmm. like that. It's kind of the first one where it's like, yeah, we're going to never cut. You follow this thing down the chute, and then you follow this guy into this. And season right. it's fun, like Ash and, um, you know, Ultra Prison's back. Um, triplets come back. Doctor has oh. has stuff this season. You know, it's there's like Sharice has like a Doctor love triangle. Me. Yeah, Doctor. And that's the other thing. I, I said David Wayne's our only big voice, but like uh, uh, Jackson Public. I don't know if he likes his using his real name or not, but he's he's a ton of the voices. It's he's, his real name he's on Wikipedia. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's but he's you know he's like the doctor, mm -hmm. um, uh, Paul, Nikki, Ash. I mean, he's so many of the inmates, and he's just amazing too. I want to ask about um, Alice because as I was showing up here today, yeah. see on Time Magazine, you know the transgender tipping point. Oh, really? And we and, should have been in that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do you guys uh, was there any? reaction to Alice. I mean, Alice came out years ago, but now it just seems like it's as it should be, you know, prominent in the world, people discussing it. But has there I been mean, any reaction to it? Not really. I mean, third season, I remember we got a, someone did a, someone at Huffington Post did an article about Super Jail having a lot of like queer friendly characters. Cause you know, the warden's not gay necessarily. I think he's probably, I guess he's been sexual. I always think of him as just so self absorbed that he's almost asexual because he's just about himself but at the same time he has i guess he's had sex in the show before but like you know al you know the twins sometimes people are like are they gay but they're just weird whatever they are they're aliens so yeah and does that even qualify i don't know i i you know i hate defining some of this stuff and then alice too and i, th I think there are i guess a kind of a lot of weird and you know the gays too i mean they're they're pretty fleshed out characters for our show i mean they just because I think they can fight a lot, so there's, they're just fun to write for. But, yeah, I mean, that article happened, but no one's really said anything. But people like Alice, though. She's a fan favorite, and she's, you know, like this confident, strong woman. And, again, I mean, we're talk this show is not a deep show. It's like, it's this, it's a visual, I mean, it's really a vehicle to be visual. And But, yeah, I mean, we've fallen, in, you know, we love these characters. 
But yeah, like Alice, like it's never really making fun of her. It's more like she doesn't give a shit. And in her head, she's a certain thing and she does it. And it's like makes her likable and kind of badass because you're like, you know, you look. And it's weird. I know we draw her like she looks hideous or something, but she, you know, she's very likable, I I think. I mean, it's funny when I don't know if other show people talk about this, like when you pitch shows or you do animation, you get a lot of notes sometimes from the network or just from you talk about this, like are the characters likable because they're not likable. No one's going to watch. And sometimes we're like, oh, there's, you know, she's so not likable. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's super likable to me. Like she does what she wants. She like, you know, if she wants something, she does it. She doesn't really give a shit. I mean, I, to me, it's that's very likable qualities. But and it's kind of like the kind of I mean, I'm a very uh, non-confrontational person in real life. So I think in a lot of ways. It's like, yeah, I wish I was more like that, you know? Uh, I want to end with, when is it, Era? When's premiere happen? Oh, uh, June 15th on Adult Swim. It's Cartoon Network at night at uh, 11.45. Oh, and another thing I want to plug is this season, um, we make the show at a studio called Titmouse, mm-hmm. and we're doing, um, we're going to have uh, Super Jail t-shirts we're doing this year to that I think the website should be up by the premiere. So if you're into the show, we're going to have like a bunch of um, artist-created Super Jail shirts that are really cool. Um, we're super scram scrambling to get them done. That's was up to like seven in the morning <laughs> last night. But uh, they're all custom and they're all um, the website. I think is Titmouse stuff. If you look for Titmouse, we'll, I think we'll be advertising about it on the on Adult Swim too. But um, we don't usually get to do much merch, so we're super excited to Super Jail premieres and Super Jail shirts. You yeah. can you can show off the premiere by wearing the shirt. Christy, thank you so much for hanging out yeah, with us, man. Thanks I appreciate for having it. Me. Right on. Cool.